What's going on guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video but today we're going to be breaking down how I built this uh, that's featured in the episode 5 of our Let's Play series. If you remember I did state at the beginning of the Let's Play series that we will be doing these sorts of videos and just a breakdown and general tips and tricks I use to design certain things that possibly got skipped that you guys would like to see. For example, how we built these ramped railings on top of the pillars, these wall lights, but this was also covered in a tips and tricks video that I released about six weeks ago. So uh, if you check in the top right hand corner now, you will see a tag. Give that a click if you would like to see that full tips and tricks video. We're also going to cover how we did these beams. Very simple, very quick design. And also, there'll be just some general simple design ideas, which aren't very hard to do, but you might not know how to do them. You might have never thought about it that way. But first of all, let's crack on with the first thing. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how we designed this rampway up into the entrance of the steel factory. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to break this down bit by bit. So we've got the ramped railings right here. And then we've also got these pillars. But if you notice, underneath this one, there's actually a steel beam. So what you do is you grab a steel beam. You grab, uh, place it at the top up here, just like this. Well, there. Make sure you're on build mode freeform. Um, and then make sure you build it halfway down the ramp. So right up to the center line, just like that. Grab yourself your pillar and you'll notice it snaps to the end. Place it, remove the beam, and then you can just place these down. You can even zoop it depending on the length of your design. Next thing you want to do is on the flat surface where you want to make things level again, grab yourself a one meter foundation, place it at the top because the one meter foundation is the same height from the top of this pillar to the half because these are two meter width pillars. Um, so next thing you want to do is grab yourself the ramp that you're going to be running down and then just place the a ramp on top of this one meter foundation and you'll notice it's the same height then as your pillars just build that down grab yourself the railings and then if you aim at the uh, pillars you'll notice it goes flat but if you put it onto the ramps you'll notice it now goes on top of the pillars then remove the uh, the foundations in the middle and then bob's your uncle we then have the ramps uh, railings on top of pillars which is pretty pretty simple then just remove it, set it back to your color palette, just like this, and then you're all done and dusted. Okay, so this next feature is not actually a part of the build, but it's something that I think you guys need to know about. And it's something that got fixed yesterday in the patch notes. Well, as of this video going out, you, it was released yesterday. But what it is, as you know, if you go into mass dismantle mode and you want to delete all these road barriers, you hold control and you go along like this. But sometimes, like me, you might be one of them. You might accidentally highlight something you don't want to delete and accidentally delete it, right? Next thing you know, I've lost the machine. And then you've got to go and fix it. But now, if you go into options, go into keybinds, scroll down, and then if you look for this one right here, toggle specified multi select dismantle, this now has a keybind option. This was only accessible to people who had mouse 4, which is normally your thumb button on your mouse. So, so now uh, the people that don't have that now have access to a keybind. And what this does is if you hold the uh, control button like you normally do, but then hold that keybind that you've specified. And then if I go along here, you'll notice I am not mass dismantling anything apart from road barriers. Because that now, if uh, it, it's only highlighting these stuff because it's it's not registering any other item now which makes it so much easier and so much helpful for those like myself included who accidentally delete things in the background so if i delete them it's only the road barriers are gone and if you want to come off that again and go like okay i want to delete all these road barriers here i'm going to hold the key bind again and i can't do this right if i want to select select this as well um or if i want to come along here and i want to add these barriers i would let go and as you can see, it's now back to its normal self again, and I can delete it. But yeah, that is something I wanted to quickly show you that got fixed in yesterday's patch notes. The next thing I'm going to show you is how we built these diagonal um, pillars just like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this from here. And then we're going to grab ourselves the pillar and just put this to the side, but at, make sure you're at the center of the, uh, the wall and then just build that out just like this. And then grab the half pillar 
and you'll notice it's then halfway through this one here. So then if you hold control, you can start to rotate the pillar on the side of another pillar. Set the angle you would like. For example, let's go for let's go for there. But then if you have multiple pillars uh, and you want to do it in multiple areas, I recommend to zoop all the way across just like this. And then what you'll notice is if you remove these ones here, which well, where you don't want the uh, the diagonal piece to come from, um and then you can see how this one is centered to this one. Then remove these these ones just like this. Uh, and then I can remove that one. I can then remove these. Then what you want to do is grab yourself a pillar again. And then just attach it to the, the diagonal piece here just like this. What you've got to do is try and find that center spot like this. And then just zoop it. And then just clip it through. And then you can create your design just like this. And then if you did zoop across like this. And then you've got these already built you can just duplicate and make it a lot easier for yourself uh, for yourself instead of just constantly building these eventually you know and then that's how you do the diagonal pillars it's a very very simple trick but you just need to get your mind around where to place these and then what you'll find out as well is if i was to put a, just put another pillow down and now is to get another one of these. If I hold control again, it's going to snap directly to the same angle that we placed that other one before. So if I press control, when I get this in the middle, you see how it automatically snapping? Because that's the last rotation that we had it. The next tip I'm going to show you is how we designed these wall lights here. Like as I did state before, it is in another tips and tricks video. But I'm going to quickly show you again. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get the uh, normal foundation and place that down there. Uh, and just get a wall as well and we can just build this up just because i don't want to build it in there because it might be a little claustrophobic for some people on a way how did he do that because it's a little bit too much so i'm just going to show you how we did it here okay so just pretend this right here is this wall right there we're going to go into here get ourselves a street light and I, the perfect spot i have found is if you're using this foundation if you go to the center spot and if you go back three spaces one two three this right here should be the perfect spot and you can see the light comes out perfectly you, you can't see the 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 beam behind it as well and then all you need to do is make sure you set the light to whatever you want it to we have got this this color right here and then all you need to do is just power that up i'm just going to connect that up just to just to that one just for now and as you can see the light then comes through like this and then all you need to do is just hide uh, hide it away uh, so you can't see you know the clipping or anything like this because obviously now in update 5 we have the power of soft clipping and and you know it's allowed now all right it makes cool aesthetics and you don't have to use the big the big chunky uh, wall lights right because i think hopefully soon we do get some wall lights just like this the next thing i'm going to show you is how we designed these uh towers right here which are going into the steel building um, so all it is is just a normal uh, it's kind of like a little square room on top I'll just duplicate it here just like that and then if you grab yourself a wall and just attach that to there and then grab yourself a half wall and place that bottom and then that right there is the base uh, of the foundation and uh, the room and then you just put your window in just like this and then just duplicate everything around as you can see I'm in creative mode right now just to make this uh, tutorial a little bit easier and then all you do is grab yourself your pillar attach that to the bottom and then just zoop your center column right down to the bottom just like this bring that up as close as you can so it comes out of the water like that and then just bring that into there like that and that's just as simple as it is we are going to expand on this in the later episodes which is to come okay so the next thing i'm going to show you is how to paint your building without painting things individually and you can just build them at the color you want them to so what you want to do is for example let's grab ourselves a wall let me place this down this is going to be my default color which is my gray color okay but let's just say okay okay let, i want to build a big wall here in a minute but i want it to be uh bright blue for example so let's go into our customizer go to your bright blue swatch for example like this right click on it and then click on standard oh wait, standard which is your normal fix it walls then you obviously get your vehicles uh, pipes all this kind of stuff so if i click on this now that you can see a little tick come up so whenever i place a normal wall now it should come at bright blue 
Simple, right? You can also do this with pipes. So if I was to go into my customizer and make sure like your pipeline swatch is set to your pipes, which is your normal standard color. And if I go to build a then a pipe, put a pipeline support down, and then grab ourselves a wall, uh, a, a pipe. I need a set of wall then. And you can see then that is becoming orange, which is standard color. But for example, what if we wanted it this bright blue as well? All we need to do is just click pipes right here. And then whenever we place a pipe down, it's then going to be that bright blue color. And you can do this with any of your swatches. You can see it's now bright blue. So if you wanted this to be a water pipe, you put it to light blue. You put it to purple pipe for your heavy residue oil, orange for your fuel and red for your turbo fuel or something, you know? And then that is a simple color swatch. But what you find out as well, this custom one here, um, as you know, with these regular ones, these will change. So if I edit this, this will then change everything that is that color, like this, right? But if I was to use this custom swatch and I was to edit this and put this to white and then use this one and then paint, for example, this. And then if I was to change this here, this white on this pipe will not change. If I select your color, as you can see, it's still white. And then I can use this to paint it else, paint this, right? So that means this color swatch right here is an infinite color palette. So don't only use this for your, like your fine details. I wouldn't recommend using that one for a whole building because you, you might come down the line and go, okay, I want to change this whole building. It means you'll have to change everything by an individual. So you have to go around and paint everything again. Does that make sense? Anyway, next step. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to get these at this level right here. And it's very, very simple. All you need to do is when you put your base ground down, put your wall down, grab yourself a concrete pillar, and you'll notice now it's snapping halfway through because these can be snapped anywhere through, right? So get as close as you can. If you want them lower, all you do is remove the foundation, grab the pillar, and then you can do it at different heights, right? And then you can just put that down just like this. This is something I like to do a lot on my um, Twitch Let's Play. Uh, if you want to check that out, check the description below. You can uh, come on over and uh, give me a click, give me a follow. But you can see I use these as kind of like little runways. But... What I like to do with these is I like to keep them at this level because what you'll find out, these are actually pretty decent. If I was to put this here as well and there as well. And then grab myself a uh, wall uh, and then grab ourselves a windowed wall. If I hold control, that wall is going to then change, right? So that's another little quick tip. If you're looking at this wall, hold control, that wall will get replaced with that. And then I like doing this with belts. So... It kind of creates like a little like a little track system. You see this? How it like kind of like blends in and makes it nice and unique and forms it all together. You can even do it with this as well. And you can just bring these. Oh, that's a bit too high. And you can create some unique um, ideas for your factory with this. And it keeps everything nice and clean. Um, you can even put some light poles on this if you wanted to. Uh, and to do so, all I need to do is just go to this center one. I could just remove this. Got myself a light, place this in the middle, like so. Then replace that one there as well. And then grab yourself a pillar and do exactly what you've just done, but clip your lights through it. It still looks like it's standing, but now you've also got lights as well. Pretty simple, right? And there we go. That was just some of the stuff that we utilized in this building. You'll see me use it throughout the playthrough. And if you haven't watched the playthrough yet, I will make sure I link this episode up in the top right hand corner right now so you can go and check it out. And there you go. So if you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Please subscribe if you're not already. And also leave a comment below with any feedback or if there's anything else that I possibly might have skipped that you would like to see in the future. And as always, keep smiling and I'll see you in another video.